hello friends welcome to unity 3d teacher tutorial so in this tutorial we are going to see continuation of a duetin series so this tutorial is about the particular concepts of duetin path so we are going to move a particular object in a path using a duetin system so that is the task we are going to see so if you are new to our channel please subscribe to our channel and hit this play bell button so as soon as you got a notification you can be able to see once i upload the video so make sure that you subscribe to the channel and also hit the bell button so that you can be able to get the latest update as soon as possible so if you are already subscribed so thanks for it thanks for the support so let's go to the so let me save a scene So we are going to have duty in path. I already named it as so I am going to replace. Okay. So uh, let's create a game object Q. Okay, this is going to be a player. So I'm going to have I'm going to create on material for it. Maybe inside the VX create material. Let's have player makes like okay let's change the color it's going to be something like red or something so drag and drop the player man okay and reset the player okay next so my idea is i'm going to create some more cubes okay i got it so i'm going to create a small path like system so duplicate one more point one more point okay so this object player object uh, is a player i think uh, let's name it as player so that you don't get, you don't get any confusion so this is cube one cube two cube three cube four okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to move this cube from here to this portion after this it, it's going to follow this portion and it's going to come over here and it's need it's going to reach to the same source so that is the idea so in order to do that what i'm going to do is so i am going to connect this in a path system using a do do in path so let's create a script called do tween path sys maybe make a new load all just for that it's not loaded okay it has been loaded so i am going to drag and drop to the centralized portion maybe main camera or direction like it's your choice so input the namespace using do p i'm sorry dg dg dot feeling okay this is the namespace for duty so let's get the game object public transform player so drag and drop the player over here So we have dragged and dropped the player here. Let's set the main camera so that you can see what's going on. Make it center and then rotate. It should be 90. Scale out a little bit. Okay. So this is starting position. 1, 2, 3, 4 and then reach to the source. So let's see how it work. Maybe zoom a little bit. Okay. So it's going to start from here and it's going to move like this. So Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4. So it will come like this. Uh, it's in the form of uh, what we can say. We can say in the form of anti clockwise direction. It's going to, oh, sorry, clockwise. So it's going to come right side. Right? So it's going to be a clockwise direction so in order to move like this what i'm going to do is 
so I'm going to create a path system so it's, uh, you can write path type first of all we need a path type type and then path system maybe equal to path type so this is a predefined system provided by between and then we want to get the values of the particular uh, points so public vector 3 paths maybe or path well equal to new vector 3 of uh, totally we have 4 maybe 5 so I got I assigned as 4 maybe I think it's 4 maybe we, anyway it's a public we can change anything so let's go to the editor so these are the path valves so totally three right now three so we'll try to add 0 0.03 0 0.08 okay and then next question is 0 0.07 right 0 0.07 okay hit enter and then q2 minus 9.66 okay so q1 q2 which is for q3 minus 9.92 minus 9.92 minus 9.96 minus 96 Make sure that minus 9.96 minus 9.66 okay and third one is 9296 so 10.66 okay q4 we need one more thing so it's going to be a uh, q4 so q4 it's going to be minus 9.94 0.44 that's it minus 0 0.44 so q3 minus 9.96 so q9 minus 9.92 okay everything is perfect let's see in the code how it's going to work so in order to connect this path uh, normally what you'll do is target so this player I mean player dot do queen transform dot do queen so do move we use normally do move or do move xyz likewise you want to search for do path okay so in the path you want to give a point first so if you over here you can see so it's asking for yeah path so I'm going to give path val so and then number of paths it's going to be four totally since we given four not a three one two three four it will come like this so make sure that it's not a array size it's a count size okay it's a four path and then path type I mean path system okay type of the path okay we given everything so next we'll try let's say let's play and see what's happening so it should move can you able to see that so it's started from here and reached over here so you can able to see while you while you play in it will create a path like this at a runtime in editor so it will move in the form of a path to so see deeply I'm sorry so it will move in the form of a path let me see one more time maybe. okay you can able to see that so it will move slowly to path position 2 and position 3 and then position 4 
so it will reach the destination so that is the thing so let's disable this or delete these cubes we don't need cubes I'm right so generally we don't need cubes so if you disable this it will work perfectly because we added points already so it will move like this so uh, maybe we'll try to reach the same portion of a source uh, I mean uh, cube 1 0 0.08 and 0 0.8 so it will start at the portion 1 maybe we will try to reach 5 0 0.08 and 0 0.0 something so go to the path and select change the path count as 5 so make sure that whatever changing it change over there so it will reach the source perfectly that's it so I'll try to delete everything cubes is not me right now so we have done the path system using the cube so we don't need now so if you like to loop many times not only one time you can able to do that using the twin system so public twin t you can either use private or public it's your choice so just assign a t over here and then t dot set is okay set is and is Linear is nothing but it's like a straight uh, curvy line or you can say linear and set loop you are going to set a loops so I am making loop minus one so it will be infinite so let's see how it works so it should move many times infinite I mean infinite time Can you able to see that so it's keep on moving in a circular path what we have given so it will keep on rotating infinite time if you like to give it two times you can change to from minus one to two so it will make it two times circling the pathway and then it will stop one that's it so first time will be a starting time and second will be one more time one this is the first time and this is the second time so it will reach the starting position and stop it that's it so that's it you can be able to do like this so if you like to do multiple systems you can be able to do using a twinning system so that's it that's it about the uh, duodenum path you can change a uh, different types of uh, like a railroad tracks or a roads or whatever a you want to move like a car a with a player you can able to do that with the help of with this routine system so it is a great plugin it will reduce a cough coding memory also so it has a great plugin so that's it so if you think this video is very helpful also again i'm requesting you please subscribe us and help us so thank you